I was really inspired by how Molly was talking about perseverance and not giving up. And it reminded me of a conversation that you and I were having earlier this week about how important it is as a family value of ours to never give up. Hmm. Do you remember that conversation? That one I do remember, yes. (laughs) Well, then I'm glad that more than one of us is not having memory issues anymore. (laughs) So I remember the conversation kind of centered around one of your friends sort of (laughs) wanting, wanting to kind of feel out how what the process was to become a member of our family. Like, how do you get adopted into the Chewbacca family? And you were running through family values. So tell us that story. Yeah, so I was talking with one of my friends. He's 17, but he's younger than me. So I'm gonna turn 18 before he does. We'll just give him a shout out. His name's Josh Pack, he's a great guy. Um, So I was joking around about how I was gonna adopt him and his younger brother, David. David's like 13 and they're just, we're friends, we're all, we're all in the friend group. They're great guys. And I was like, I'm going to turn 18. I'm going to adopt you guys. And you're going to be Chewbacca's. And I said, but, you know, being being a Chewbacca is more than a name. And I told them, you know, when you're Chewbacca, you are you become two things. you got to have two core integral values. I told them, number one is Chewbacca's never give up. Number two is Chewbacca's never lose. And so I explained to them, Chewbacca's never give up. That's pretty simple and easy. I remember when I was like three and I told you like I wanted to give up or I was going to quit something like, and it was something super stupid. It was like, I was was, like playing like Lego Batman on the Wii and like couldn't figure out one of the levels. And so I was like, I quit as in like, I'm going to go do something else now. I'm going to come back and try and figure this level out later and you you were like no Chewbacca's never quit the only mom ever who says you have to play video games yeah right like no Chewbacca's never give up and for some for me for some reason that just really stuck with me and I just remember you really hammered that into Denali and I just growing up throughout like our whole childhood like Chewbacca's never give up Chewbacca's never give up Chewbacca's never quit quit's not in your vocabulary you don't get to quit keep going at it keep it so like there's this uh, you, i don't know if you know this meme but there's this meme where it's, you're uh, talking to me like i don't know what a meme is <laughs> no is I, that I, like I a know, mom I, no i don't know if you know this meme oh so thank you it's a uh, it's uh, this guy goes never back down never what you ever heard that no you see, yeah i see you know that meme so yeah so the guy goes never back down never what and the team goes never give up <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like you know the team like doesn't want to do it but then the one guy's just like super intense never back down never why <laughs> and i'm like and that's 100 percent me because like for me like it's not a joke like for me like i go to my friends and i'm like y'all never back down never what and they're like that's not even funny bro and i'm like no say it like never give up so i told them listen you can't give up chewbacca's don't give up chewbacca's don't quit it's that value of perseverance and resilience. And I would say it's the thing that's made me most successful thus far easily is just learning how to not give up. Cause you know, like they don't give, they don't give PhDs to the smartest students. They that's give them to point. the most stubborn. It's like, can, like, can you pers- sit in yeah, your perseverance seat? Perseverance and stubbornness exactly. are actually the same value. Just it's, it's the same sides of two yeah. sides, of the same coin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then Chewbacca's never lose. I told them like, look, your mindset's got to be, you know, we don't, we don't always win. So I don't want people to hear me wrong. Chewbacca's don't always win, but we never lose Mm -hmm. because winning isn't always up to you. It's not always your choice to win, but you are the only person who can choose to lose. That's a mindset. Losing is a choice. That's a good point. Losing is, I, losing is quite frankly, I gave up. I I didn't stick with it. I didn't put my best in. I lost. There's something wrong with me. This one's on me. Winning is, listen, the other person was just better. I just got to improve or, hey, like. I ran out of time. I ran out of time. (laughs) Things didn't shake out the way I thought they would. That's totally fine. But you don't ever lose. And it's like, I remember like playing soccer growing up as a kid. And I remember like the most embarrassing thing was because we lost almost every single soccer game, regardless of which team I was on. Right. And almost every single game, you know, soccer coaches can be so mean sometimes. It's funny, but they would come up to be, <laughs> come up to us. They'd be like, 
Yo, that team was hot trash. They did not win. Y'all, y'all right. lost. Y'all lost that game. That that team didn't win. You guys lost. And so it's this difference between not not losing. You know, it's not the same thing as always winning. You can't always win, but you can never lose. You can choose to not lose. Exactly. I like your sports metaphor because that's where I learned it. So I grew up playing competitive softball, and at one point was on our team that led Alaska to nationals for softball. I think I was 11. And your grandma would often give me feedback. And she was a tough coach. Like you said, soccer coaches aren't always nice. Grandma wasn't always nice, but she was a good coach. Mm -hmm. And she would give me feedback just along those lines that that team didn't win, you lost. Right. Which isn't a reflection on how the score came out. It's a reflection on how you played the game. Exactly. So you can come up short on score, but play a winning game. Like you, you left it all on the field. You yeah. played your heart out. You played your best, but they outplayed you, which mm -hmm. means that you just played up. So mm -hmm. she would intentionally put me on the field with players that were a lot better than me so that I would have to play up. And right. so I often, you know, got outscored, got outpitched, somebody would outbat me but I would my skills would get better and better so that when I then played with the girls my age I was much better than them because mm -hmm. I was always in situation if you will where I was being outplayed right. but I wasn't losing because I would just remember what she was coaching me she's like I'm intentionally putting you in way above your level mm -hmm. don't let the score or how how the count is coming out get into your head it's a mindset right and instead, remember that you're here to play up. Like you're here to increase your level. Yeah. Then when you get into your own league level, you're going to be much better because you've been hitting balls that are being pitched faster. Mm -hmm. People are throwing faster. People are running faster. So you have to play at that level. Right. It's a mindset shift. Right. Yeah, you only lose when you give up. And I would say if I were to put a definition on it for our audience, I would say losing is the act of willingly and intentionally seeding victory it's allowing the other person to win giving it over in order to not lose it's just that that stick with it you know Take i'm a stand. not going to give up i'm going to keep playing it, I, mean, I mean it's happened to me before i mean we were doing we were doing a event in this building that we're in with the studio right now where I was on a team and we had to do this like super intense, like two hour long scavenger hunt relay race thing. And about halfway through, it looked like our team wasn't going to make it. it. looked like we weren't going to win. We had messed up. And all the other guys on my team wanted to quit and give up. And I said, no. Never give up. I said, never back down, never what? And, the, and, and guess who ended up winning that? Another team? No, our, <laughs> our, our team ended up winning. I'm messing with you. We ended up winning because... We didn't, we didn't concede the victory. So it's a lot of people I think will try to really shame you for being perseverant. A lot of people will tell you, mm. you know, it's over, give up. What are you doing? You're foolish. You can't win. You're being stupid. Like, and they will really come after you. And I would say that's just part of, that's just part of that mental game. Part of that mental game is you know, even if they're right, you know, right. Even, if, even if they're right, I, I don't care because I know if I give up, if I concede defeat, if I let the other people win, then I definitely lose. Mm. But as long as I hang in there, there's, there's even the slightest chance that I might win, then I'll take that. I had a mentor tell me something similar early in my career, which I thought was really valuable and helped shape this mentality. He had said, part of the victory in finishing well, so finishing your career well, finishing your performance well, any job, anything, is just choosing to not quit. If you look around at any career field, whether it doesn't matter what it, what it is, you see this major dip off in people in the middle um, mm. age sector of their career. And he said, it's because people just choose to opt out. They yeah. choose to quit. And so we see a falling off of subject matter experts and industry leaders, mentors, people who can lead and pave the way because people quit and they opt mm -hmm. out. 
And he said, the only person who can make that choice fundamentally is you. Yeah. And the the people who, if you if you go and you ask, really successful people, the champions, the people who make the biggest difference, have the biggest influence, they'll say exactly what Molly said, exactly what you're saying. I just chose to not quit. Mm. It's just a daily choice to not give in to discouragement, to despair, to the cacophony of mediocrity around you saying, come mm. be like us, keep your head down. And it's said to continue to persevere and, and blaze forward. 